Hey, it's Jay at the End Name Podcast. I did promise this forever ago. I'm finally doing it. It's the uh, beginning of the twin episode. No, it's probably the only twin episode. The kitsch is okay. With that band, we were together... Mm, not quite five years. And uh, a lot happened. A lot happened. Because I don't want to sit there and be like, Hey, we played with this band, then we played with this band, then we played with this band. I'm just going to go over the EPs. Because those are stories themselves. Yeah, let's start with 2009. 2008, really. They got a hold of me and asked me to do drums for them. Just for, like, demos. And they promised me, they promised me, I would now be part of the band. And then they said, hey, we got a show coming up. And I said, guys, I'm not part of your band. And then Kevo came up to me and was like, hey, Elka, it's breaking up. I'm like, hey, guys, do you need a drummer? And they're like, yeah, you're already part of the band. We assumed you were going to be part of the band. So you're part of the band. So I recorded three songs with them for just quick demos. Here's one of those right now. I was watching for so long, but I felt ill, not so strong, so do
yeah, I did very little to assist with the writing process on those. I just kind of slept together drums. And kind of fortunately, kind of unfortunately, they kind of stuck that way. And I'm proud of what I came up with. And I was super impressed with what everybody else did. Especially Rahib. No offense, Rahib, I'm sure you'll see this. I had no faith in your ability. And then you blew me away. You figured everything out really quick, and it was fun to watch. I digress. Soon after, by the soon after, I mean about a year later, we recorded the first DP. Yeah, that was a month of really interesting stuff. So I basically just showed up to do my drumline. No, I take that back. I was there for the entire session. That was the first time I'd ever recorded semi-professionally. By that, I just mean somewhere I didn't do all the engineering and the producing and all that kind of stuff. And we recorded it in Hamilton, Ontario. We're from Cambridge, Ontario, so that's about 45 minutes away on a good day. And it was hot as balls that May. Yeah, it was May. Was it June? I think it was May. interesting time. The recording engineer, we thought we spelled everything out for him. And for the most part, we're ridiculously happy with how it turned out. But there are little things here and there that we wish were different. There were a couple things that we fought to get changed in the studio because they just totally boned us. But yeah, for the most part, it worked out pretty well. And then... We had this weird year, 2010. We recorded at Brilliant Red Studios in Burlington. The reason I hesitated on that, I couldn't remember. Burlington or Bramford, it's Burlington. Uh, as Rahib puts it with the mad lads of Tonight Tonight. Really nice guys. Really good at what they do. Really talented. 
Uh, we recorded two songs with them. I think we were planning on doing an EP in the middle. We just didn't. So we recorded Victims, which I'll play right now. Secrets that we kept Lives on our voiceless What you I deserve In act I cannot follow Watch you we vanish From homes left alone The act is almost voiceless A kingdom with We have somewhere, and you can listen to it on your own time. Then we waited two, potentially three years, to do anything else, and we recorded the Inner Demons EP, which I think is possibly the best work that we did. I don't know if everyone feels that way. I know for me it was definitely fascinating because I assisted so much with the writing, especially in the song that I'm going to play right now, which is Inner Demons, which I'm going to say is probably my water, not my Waterloo, that's the wrong phrase, probably my magnum opus. I was super stoked with how this track turned out. And if I'm not mistaken, most of it's actually 4-4, but the polyrhythms played around with it. it, just made it so much fun, it made it sound so much more complicated than it really was. I've waffled on enough. Here's that song. I feel it growing inside of me.
after recording that EP, we did a music video, which I'm, I don't have the physical copy, and I don't have any way of capturing video off YouTube. If you want to find it, it's for my candles. I'm not going to give too much more of an opinion on that, because it turned out exactly how the person wanted it to turn out. I just find it problematic in parts. But that's me getting too far into it. Anyway, I am going to play that song. thereafter for a plethora of reasons I love every member that we had at the end and every member that we had throughout I wish everyone the best and eventually I'm going to get around to doing I don't know Lynn's right I know I've talked about it forever this has been Jay the Name Podcast 
Have a good day. I love you.